Hello, I'm delighted to be joined by OM Olympic hopefuls Kieran Bird and Brodie Williams. Hi both, thank you for joining Hello. us today. First of all, congratulations on your selection for Tokyo. Uh, now you're both recent leavers, so what's it like to be back at Millfield? Has anything changed since you've last been here? Um, well, there's been a global pandemic. <laughs> but no, it's nice, it's quite special to come back and see, you know, see where the stepping stones to our dreams you know, were. Um, yeah, just in general, you know, there's obviously new additions around campus that probably weren't here when we were here and uh, different staff members as well. You know, it's interesting to see what's moved on and how things have progressed. And why did you both choose to come to Millfield? Obviously, you know, Brody, that you're a local boy. So why did you choose to come here? Well, obviously, it, it was quite helpful that it was on my doorstep. Um, so it was actually just in year 10. My swimming career was obviously taken off a little bit and uh, got asked by Ewan to come here and I decided to because obviously the facilities here are incredible and I just knew that I was going to get a lot of benefits from coming to Millfield. Well, and Kieran you joined yeah. us for sit form? As Brody just said the facilities here world class. I don't think there's really any schools in the whole world that have better swimming facilities especially better than Millfield. And did you both know that you always wanted to be swimmers? Um, from the age of probably about eight, from learning to swim, I was quite interested in doing it. Um, but I never really thought about it doing it full time until I was probably about 13 or so. Um, so yeah, it was just one of them sports that I was actually good at. Um, I'm not very coordinated, so every other sport was a bit difficult for me. And you came Yeah, I, I've always wanted to be an Olympic swimmer. That's it really, yeah. Your dream's coming true. Yeah. <laughs> So how did Millfield support you with your Olympic dream? I think having obviously the pool time that we did and quite flexible over training, training with school. Um, so having that good balance, um, it was good to have that support network. Um, and also just the coaching staff here are incredible. Like um, you and Dale, I had for my whole two years at Millfield and he was just yeah, very supportive very good at his job as well uh, the atmosphere is you know it's more it's a family um, you know you all get out of the pool together and you walk up to breakfast together and everything is you know you spend your time with the same people every day and it just makes friendships that last you know forever really and you know that's what probably one of the biggest biggest things I miss about Millfield is having that close-knit family environment um, you know, there's not one person in the squad that you don't know or aren't friends with. Right. And being a swimmer is hard. How do you keep going through the early mornings and the cold winter mornings? How do you keep going with that? Uh, it's just... You use a lot of coffee, isn't it? Yeah, I, I've started to drink coffee now that I've moved to Bath. Bath's a coffee hotspot, so uh, yeah, start drinking coffee. But just in general, it's just... We, I think we both know what, what's at the end for us yeah. and you know to get here was you know shows all their mornings have paid off. Yeah having those goals and ambitions as a driver really helps and as we have in Bath now we have a good group of swimmers, elite swimmers and yeah just having a lot of people wanting to achieve the same as you do and at Millfield it's the same because as Brody said you have a you have like the family orientation around it and normally everyone wants to do the best that they can do, but also wants to see everyone else do their best. And what would be one piece of advice you would give to a current Millfield swimmer at the moment? Uh, for me, I'd just say enjoy it. Like, um, you'll never experience anything like it. Um, just the atmosphere and, you know, like I said, family around you is just something you should cherish while you're here. Yeah, just make the most of that. And just listen to your coaches as well because they know what they're doing they know what they're talking about and is there anything that you would like to say to Ewan and the rest of your coaches here I think just thank you really yeah, yeah Ewan's play, like played a massive you. part for us so yeah huge thank you to all the staff including Dan and we'll see Ewan in Tokyo as well yeah. very and exciting yeah. thank you both for joining us and good luck for Tokyo thank you thank you